So by now, I'm absolutely sure that you guys are used to these, but welcome to episode four of Becoming Wolverine in real life. It's a mini series where I break down a character's fighting style and teach you how to do the literal moves that Wolverine does in the movies. And like in the previous videos, I have links to the claws that you can get down in the links below. Or I guess the link is down in the description below, but you get it. But while you are here, if you could drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, that would be great because then, you know, I won't have to cry in the shower tonight. Run the intro. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviators and a super hat, and a welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Like I said, this is episode four, so I'm going to assume for both of our time's sake uh, that you already watched the first and second and third episode of this series but if you haven't make sure to at least go watch the first episode because that's when I go into all the details. This video is mainly just going to be teaching you to do another Wolverine combination but um, before we get into that I like telling you guys a little bit of what I learned when I'm researching these videos and a little fun fact um, kind of like a little fun fact of the day. Wolverine was originally supposed to be a wolverine like the animal well kind of obviously now he is a mutant in pretty much every iteration of the character and to be honest he's probably the most famous mutant of all time even though i wish nightcrawler got the same screen time as my boy logan wolverine just takes the cake originally the true origins of wolverines was a huge mystery and over the years, and the comics gave clue after clue, hint by hint, on what Wolverine's actual history was. Things like showing that he was a soldier in World War II, or showing how he gained augments in the Weapon X program, things like that. But they didn't actually give the character a true flushed out backstory until 2001, a whole 27 years before the character was actually created. and that is crazy because like i am turning 28 this year or well, i guess uh it's actually close to my birthday when this airs in march um so i'm actually turning 28 so literally barely almost as long as i've been alive they had no backstory for wolverine but at one point chris claremont the creator of the character wanted to change wolverine's species as a whole not just making him a mutant but making him a actual wolverine like genetically modified wolverine to resemble a human by the high evolutionary making him more like rocket raccoon from the mcu than the wolverine that we know today and it only didn't happen because stan the man lee himself had to shut it down and, and put everything in its place but i bet you didn't know that and if you did leave a comment down below on the fact that you did and some other cool wolverine facts because if you knew that one you probably know a couple more so leave your craziest wolverine fact down in the comment and i will go through and like and maybe even pin the best one but now let's get into the tutorial all right it's the fourth installment of the wolverine series i'm not currently sure how long this will go if you guys really just love wolverine i'll keep making wolverine uh, episodes to the series, but I'm also going to be mixing in some other characters if I haven't done that already. But as the fourth installment, we're going to be going into Wolverine versus one of his most iconic foes, Sabretooth. Well, I mean, I guess there this is his iconic foe recently. It's not always been that way, but it's that way that right now, which means, yes, we are dipping into Wolverine Origins. I understand it was not a great movie. I understand. I agree with you. I'm with you. But the fight scene was dope. And this is gonna be one of our more dynamic ones so far, including spins and even a roll in there. So uh, find a nice soft patch of grass because we're going to be getting right into it. But just so you guys know, in case you haven't seen the previous episodes, I'll say it again. I'll be using these brass claws here simply because I don't have the, uh, the two of the other type of Wolverine claws. If you want to get either one, I'll leave links to both down in the description for you both, for you all. I am sick right now, and so doing all these at once, even though it needs to happen right now, it's a struggle. So if you could drop a like for me, that would be great. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to start off with a right straight into 
dropping them into the ground. And when we do this, we wanna make sure we're stabbing straight into the, the center mass of our target and then dropping them to the ground by using our body weight. We don't wanna just kind of bend over and do that kind of thing. We wanna drop our, our knees, bend our knees, and drop them to the ground, just like so. so. That way we have good body posture and we have our weight uh, and our center mass in between our legs at all times. Well, at most times. And the reason I say at most times is because after we do our right and drop them into the ground, we actually do our forward roll. For this forward roll, uh, we're not gonna do a somersault over our head and neck. That can actually hurt you uh, if you do it incorrectly or in the wrong location. What we are gonna do is a shoulder roll, going from our shoulder to our hip, having um, our, our uh, roll go from our shoulder, traveling down to our opposite hip. The way we do that from our knee is we're going to tuck our chin and lean our chin to the side so we get our head out of the way. You're gonna lean forward, putting your shoulder on the ground, and you're gonna use your legs to push you over. If you just fall forward, you will not roll, and I see that all the time. You have to use your legs to actually push you over in your roll like this. I'm gonna do it one more time from a little farther away so you could see the whole thing on camera. We stab, we drop to the ground, we can do that uh, kind of Wolverine pose, and then we roll forward, coming up to our right knee or right leg up, left knee on the ground. We're going to immediately turn towards our left, ready to block with two hands. We wanna block that strike coming into us with two hands, using our right hand to strike across in a backhand motion at our target. And again, we turn left, blocking with two hands, right hand strikes across. So we've blocked, we've strike through. What we're going to do is we're gonna take our right foot, step forward, left foot, step back as we sweep with our right hand up and drop to our right knee on the ground, left knee up. So again, we're gonna go a little bit slower so you can see it all in motion. Blocking with two hands, backhand slash across the face, right leg steps forward, left leg steps behind and extends. Our right hand is gonna sweep the leg and extend up in that nice Wolverine pose, allowing us to turn and face our target. So now all the way through, we have our chest stab, dropping them to the ground. We have our forward roll out of his grab, coming up, turning left into that block, striking at the face, right step, left step, sweep, land on that knee, left leg up. Once we're here, we're gonna turn face our opponent again. We're gonna come through, left leg body kick, and then both our hands are gonna come underneath, elbows back, palms facing the sky if they were open, and we're going to stab while sliding into our opponent with our front foot. So our front foot just steps and our back leg slides as we stab into our opponent. In the movie, they jump through a window. I'm not gonna do that because I don't really wanna jump through a window, so sue me. <laughs> But there we have it, our full combination. And for those of you that wanna see it all uh, step by step, and one more time, here we go. We start off, right hand to the chest, dropping to the ground. You're gonna roll through, right leg posted up, turn, double hand block. Right hand, backslash across the face, step one, step two, uppercut or I guess a leg sweep to that nice pose. Turn face our target, left leg, body kick, hands palm up, elbows back, slide in, uppercut. And so guys, hope you enjoyed it. Again, my voice is going right now. It is going away from me fast. So this is the last one I'm gonna do today. Uh, let me know if you wanna see more of these Wolverine videos, cause I have more planned. And if you like them, I'll do them. If you don't, I won't. 
or I'll switch to another character that you like better. Maybe I'm doing Captain America right now, maybe I'm doing Batman, maybe I'm doing something else that you guys voted on. Either way, let me know. But for right now, let's go back inside. Y'all are absolutely awesome for watching this whole series. I really enjoy making the series. Um, I enjoy the characters. Uh, I enjoy being able to break it down and it's just, it's been fun. More fun than I have had making content recently. So hopefully you guys can see that in the videos that I've been making um, as of late. I mean, I got a chance to talk about Avatar and you guys know I love talking about Avatar. And if you wanna see a lot of these videos early, consider becoming a member because for the vast majority of these videos, I actually post it to members only before I post it to anyone else. So if you wanna get access to seeing these videos early as well as getting your name in the shout outs and just supporting the channel, consider becoming a member or getting some merch to rep out that merch. Merch to rep out the merch. Merch to rep out the style, to rep the channel, whatever phrase and sentence actually fits what I'm trying to say. And if you can't support financially, I totally get it. Just, you know, sharing the channel, telling some friends and commenting and liking the videos would be absolutely fantastic. But either way, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be The Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to